Hey YouTube friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I thought I would do a flip through of the Horizons Math for second grade. My uh, second grader is currently using this. She's on book two. This program comes with two student textbooks and the teacher's guide. This is put out by Alpha Omega Publications. This is a spiral based program and it's also um, Christian based. So um, what I mean by spiral is that um, the way they master concepts here is um, by introducing a concept and then um, they review that concept for a little bit, then they practice it for a little bit, um, and then they move on to the next concept and they continue on with the program that way. So we really like this um, and I thought maybe I would um, share some of what's inside of the teacher's guide in the second book, maybe this will be helpful to someone who is looking into this program. Okay, so let's get started with the teacher's guide. Um, this does not come spiral bound. I had this done um, just to make it easier for me. Um, this here has a contents section. This is uh, broken up into five sections. It's just the introduction. There's teacher's lessons, answer key, work um, worksheets, and then worksheet answers. Here, this just tells you um, some of the goals for the program, how it's designed and laid out. Here is a readiness evaluation. This just lets you know that you can evaluate your child for readiness for the second grade math. Um, these are uh, just worksheets that you can either make a copy of or you can actually just rip them right out of your book. It's up to you. Um, this gives you a little bit of uh, general information about preparing for your lessons and organizing tests and things of that nature. And here um, just lets you know what these little pictures are going to mean when you're doing a lesson. You'll see concepts, you'll see objectives, um, teacher tips, some materials, activities that you're going to be doing, and then the number here just refers to um, student activity one or two, and that is what is in the uh, student workbook. Um, that's what they do um, on their own. This worksheet picture here, that just lets you know when there's going to be an additional like drill sheet or an additional reinforcing worksheet. Um, those are found in the back of the book um, and you can uh, reproduce them by making copies right out of your book or you can buy a, um, a package, which I did. Um, you can just buy a package of the worksheets that are already printed uh, for you and they're unbound. Um, so anytime there's a worksheet, it'll tell you in that lesson what worksheet to pull out. A lot of them um, are duplicates because every time they refer to one, for example, the, um, the hundreds chart, they would um, say you need one for that lesson. Um, so they're not assuming that you kept the one from the previous, so they just give you extras for each time that you need one. So um, there's a lot of things that we haven't used because they were just um, duplicate, but um, we've definitely used all those drill sheets. Those were very helpful. Um, for those drill sheets, um, I also want to mention there is a drill sheet work um, sheet key. So if they're doing those um, drill sheets, you can also find the answers to them in the back of the book. So there's the worksheet um, answer key. So even drills, anything that they do that's that extra, the answers will be back here. So that's helpful. So this is the scope and sequence. This just um, runs through all the things they're gonna learn this year um, in the Math 2 program. So they're counting from 100 to 1,000 um, by ones, fives, tens, twos, threes, sixes, nines, fours, eights, and sevens. Um, they're working on sets, um, like grouping, number order for ordinal numbers to 100, um, addition, so ones, tens, hundreds, um, two numbers, single, double, triple, and four digit, uh, three numbers, single, double, triple, and four digit, and four numbers, single and double digit. So they're doing a ton of problems, horizontal and vertical addition, word problems, um, all sorts of things. So they're also doing correspondence of quantities, like greater than, less than, equal to, 
they're doing place value um, to the thousands, subtraction with borrowing um, in the ones and tens columns. They're doing um, two numbers, single, double, and triple, and four digit. Um, horizontal and vertical subtraction with word problems. Um, they're using, um, obviously they're telling time still, um, to the half hour, uh, quarter hour, so five minutes, all those different times. So um, quarter past, half past, quarter, um, quarter till. Fractions as well. Um, these are like fraction part of a whole, part of a set. Um, they're talking about fraction words. They're going to be going over money. So pennies, nickels, dimes, quarters, half dollars, one, five, ten, and twenty dollar bills. Um, adding, subtracting, and multiplying money. This is um, sequencing. So numbers, shapes, objects, and events. Multiplication. So readiness for multiplication and then the facts from 0 to 10, including in, in word problems. So shapes, doing all these shapes. So your basic circle, square, triangle, rectangle. They're also doing oval, diamond, octagon, pentagon, hexagon, sphere, cylinder, cube, cone, and pyramid. So calendar, months of the year, abbreviations, days of the week, and abbreviations. Graphs, um, bar graphs, line graphs, pictographs, and grids. For measurement, they're doing inches, centimeters, um, English linear, English weights, English liquid, dozens, optical illusions, and some map reading. They're doing temperature, Fahrenheit thermometer. They're rounding numbers. Um, they're doing height, length, and time estimation ratio, which is um, just comparing of two numbers. They're doing area, perimeter, and volume and decimals um, using money. Okay, so in this section here, this is just a list of different manipulatives and in what lesson they're gonna be used. So this is helpful to go over just to see if there's anything um, out of the ordinary that you would need that you don't already have at home. You may um, already have like calendars and clock models and things like that. Um, and some of the things we didn't find that we needed, we use flashcards already, um, like this flannel board materials or flannel board, we didn't use that or anything. But it's useful to see what you need and when you need it. So that's all laid out here. Um, here it just tells you where to use the mathematics um, worksheets, and those are gonna be um, easy for you to know when to use them anyway. You don't need to refer to this because in each lesson it'll actually just um, tell you. This is also a very um, useful page because this tells you um, what lessons you're gonna find which concepts. So uh, for example, um, counting by sevens to 84, you're gonna find them in all these lessons. 38 to 42 and then 126 to 135. So in all those lessons. This is a development of concepts page. Um, this is just going over the same sort of thing that this one over, um, but it has it in a chart that you can read a little bit better. Um, so here are the lessons. So for example, here's lesson one. Here's the concept that you're going to um, teach to your child. It doesn't actually give you the teaching instructions. This is just telling you the concepts you're going to go over in lesson one. There's the objectives. There's some teaching tips here. It gives you like a brief little synopsis of what you can um, expect to teach your child. This is any materials you're gonna need, a note to the teacher, and then here it breaks down the activities, and then it gives you a little bit of teaching within this. So generally activity one, you do with the child, like some examples on the board with the child, and then they, uh, you do the worksheet with them in the front, um, and then they would just do the second activity or um, the remainder of the activities, depending on how it's broken down. Um, and then here you see it says um, worksheet one, number chart zero to 99. So this is when you would pull out that worksheet, and this is that picture that tells you to pull out that worksheet. Um, and it just goes on and on like that. It's laid out that way. I like that they have these um, these little quotes here. So when 
Um, when you look down here and there isn't a worksheet, there's a quote. Another quote there. Um, so that's how it's broken down. It tells you when to um, give the tests. Um, I didn't find that the, the um, teaching instruction for the teacher is that great, um, but, but we have made do. Um, I just want a little bit more, especially as the uh, grades um, get harder, the concepts in those higher grades get harder. I would like a little bit more, so um, I don't know exactly what we're gonna do for math next year, we'll see. But that's just something I'm looking for. Okay, so this has 160 lessons. And here's the answer key to all the lessons. It's just all the answers. And then um, here are those sheets. These are the worksheets that you can um, make copies of. So if you don't want to get a an additional um, those additional worksheets already printed and bound um, unbound for you, then you can just make copies of this. Or um, I wouldn't recommend tearing them out of the book, actually. Um, but I mean, it's your book, you could do whatever you want with it. But you can make copies of it, tear it out, or um, just get those already reproducible ones. And this is it. That's it for the teacher's guide. Okay, so I'll just briefly show you um, the workbook. So this is workbook two, where we are at. Um, so this is just an example. It's very colorful. Um, I like how it's designed. So for grade two, there's a lot more problems um, than in grade one. So sometimes it's difficult to um, to write really small for my daughter. Like these won't be an issue, but it's the ones that have a lot of addition and subtraction on them. Let's see here. Yeah, these are fine. So for example, sometimes they'll have like four of these right in a row. Um, so there's a lot of, um, you know, carrying and things. And so she sometimes will get confused if she writes too big, the numbers that are here and then the numbers that go up here. But um, that kind of forces the kids to write a little smaller but um, just something to consider. There's a lot more uh, problems, as you can see, and then they're um, more, they're more like condensed, so there's a little space to write in. The same goes for the word problems. Um, they don't have too much space to work on for word problems. What I like about um, this book number two is that they have this section up here that shows the example of what they're gonna do below. In book number one, there wasn't any of that, so sometimes my daughter didn't know what she was supposed to do. If she started her math without me, and um, I, I hadn't taught her the lesson, but she knew like what to do, um, it would say something obscure and she wouldn't know exactly how they wanted the work done. So she would do the problem, but then it wasn't done the exact way that the book wanted her to do it. So sometimes that's just kind of a hiccup there that they can't just do it on their own. But this one, I like that this one has this little instruction up here, an example of what they're gonna do. So like I said, very colorful format. I like this. Um, she really likes it as well. And there's 160 lessons, so I'll just flip through the last 10 lessons for you. As you can see, they're doing um, into the thousands, three digits into the thousands, multiplication, subtraction, two digits, still telling time, some more geometry, weights and measurements. So that's it you guys, that is Horizons Math 
to. Um, if you have any questions that I can answer for you, I'm happy to. Um, please leave them in the comments down below and I will get to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.